Hello guys, ZTech99 here, and welcome to the final episode of Nottingham Forest Career Mode for Season 1. It has been a very long road, but this is it, the final three games of the regular season. And then we can find out, will we become champions? We've already secured getting automatic promotion, so we are going to the Premier League. But today's episode is trying to make sure, are we going to the Premier League as champions? Now, there are actually, in the description at the moment, there is actually straw polls, which actually will vote in my official Nottingham Forest Season 1 award ceremony. So there's votes for Fan Player of the Year, Fan Youth Player of the Year, um, <laughs> what else is there? Best Signing, Once, What to Watch, all of them are down in the description, so vote for your favorite players, and the awards are going to be happening one week from when this video goes live, so a lot of things are going to be happening, but anyways, Let's get into the final episode, and unfortunately, during training, Vorton, one of my favorite players in this whole thing, has picked up an injury for four weeks, meaning his season has unfortunately ended already. But anyway, so, what I am thinking of doing is just getting ready for our first match, which I believe is against Reading. I'm gonna bring Traore off and to solve in for Vorton. And then you've got, uh, you've got a few players to save, so you've got to... Okay, I'm going to bring on Mancien and Perquise. So they can go all well. I'm going to bring Hobbs off for Grant. Okay, I'm also going to, for Strike, I'm going to bring on Velios. Uh, right, I'm going to keep right wing. Can anybody play camp? Osborne can't. Actually, I think Lansbury can, can't he? Yeah, Lansbury can. We're going to swap him with him with Osborne. Going to bring Grant on for Cohen. And Perea to come on for Anya. So, yeah, there we go. Okay. So, we're about to play our first game of the episode against Reading. Here's the thing that is all important. The ladder. Out of the last three games of the year, we only need to win one game. And we've secured being the title because and people say like well if we if we win one game and it's still and they st tie with us on 100 with Norwich City with a look at the goal difference it's like nearly 40 goals they need to like smash their last three points three opponents by like 10 goals so honestly very much I don't think that's gonna happen all we need to do is just win the la one of the last three games and we're champions either between Reading Queens Park Rangers or Ipswich, and then that's it. We are champions. And now, let's get it started. The first game against Reading. Here we are, Nottingham Forest against Reading. This game can wrap up the entire season, or Reading could come out of nowhere and make the, the journey a bit more difficult, because if we lose our next three games and it, I don't want to think about that, honestly. So as you said, Nottingham Forest on top. A win will secure the title today. And where are Reading at the moment? I think they're high. I think they're like in the mid table or worst relegation. I think. Here we go. Game kick off. Here we go. The most important game of our year in the championship is now. Pinulos to Grant. Now we've got a bit of a tangent run here. Oh, but Velios, Grant's going to pass it to himself. Lays it off to Velios. Velios is one-on-one -on -one here. Can he put it away? No, he can't. He puts it straight at the keeper. What a terrible decision that was. Oh, now McCleary now. Reading on the counter. Oh, that was a thumping tackle. That definitely may have caused an injury there. Azui now off to Lansbury. Lansbury whips it in. Does it, can we get a header on? Oh... Al Habzi able to clear it up. Hopefully he's going all right, XA, except in the, uh, he, his performance in the FA Cup. Oh, great tackle. They still got the ball here, McCleary, for Reading. 
Oh, no, no, no. Oh, my God. How did that not go in from Reading? Oh, no. It's a brilliant free ball there. And the keeper got a save on it. stoiker has got a save on it. So, it's going to be a corner here for Reading. Reading now whips it in. Uh, can it be cleared away? Can it be cleared? Yes, it... Uh, no, it can't. Oh, can we get some defenders on that shit? Yes, it has. The place just, rock, just fell on the ground. Now, Lansbury, on the verge of an attack, gets a through ball over to Grant. Grant's losing his stamina. He could decide to cut back, but Gunter read that like a book. Chances here for Reading. Oh, good tackle there by Pekis. Now, Lansbury gets a ball to Velios. Velios is one-on-one -on -one here. Velios can put it away here, and he does. 1-0 to Nottingham Forest on the brink of half time and is that the goal that secures the title? A beautiful through ball here by Lansbury, one on one and he puts it into the corner. El Habzi could not save that and it is 1-0 to Nottingham Forest and Avelios has 15 goals in the championship. A fantastic year he has had. And there goes the whistle for half time. We are 45 minutes away. If the things stay the same, we are officially champions. Norwich has equalized. Norwich has drew, equalized. And an almost a fantastic shot by Reading, but it was saved by Stojkovic. But just remember, the top right corner just said it's 1 1 to Norwich. Norwich are not out of the title race just yet. With great control, gets it off to Velios. Velios cuts in, through balls it back to Pinulos with a strike. It goes over. It was a great, great play, started by Pinulos, ending with Pinulos, but he just couldn't put it into the back of the net. We don't even know, because it's still technically a draw. We don't know. It's still, as far as I know, it's still a draw between Norwich and uh, Norwich and Brighton. But anyways, Lansbury's picked up the through ball here. He's one-on-one. -on -one. He's losing stamina, but can he put it away? He will! That's it! That is it! We're champions! There is no way on earth now that we can fuck this up in any way. We have won it. We have won the title with two games to spare. No matter what happens, if we lose our last two games and Norwich win their last two games, it does not matter. We are going to be champions at the end of the season. Now to Grant. Now to Velios. Oh, Velios, try to go over the... Oh, can we strike in? Brilliant! Lansbury again! Lansbury again in the 90th minute has definitely secured the, the, the title with that goal. A brilliant set of play. Out of nowhere, actually, but a brilliant shot by Lansbury. As you see, Velios tried to over the top through bullet, then it was passed from Grant, and just a brilliant shot. Al Habsi was nowhere to be seen. And Henry Lansbury gets his 12th goal of the season. The whistle's going for any minute, which will be the end of Norwich's chance, meaning it'll be the end of the title race. Nottingham Forest are going to be champions, no matter what. Dimitri. That's it! As the players storm onto the pitch, they do know that they have won the title. The, the, the substitute stormed the pitch, so there is definite knowledge that we are going to win the title. It was just a brilliant, brilliant matchup. And Lansbury does get man of the match. Velios did well, Grant did well. Everyone had a stellar performance. Everyone just was fantastic today. Just, just to make sure, what was the score in the Norwich? Norwich lost. Norwich lost to Brighton, which makes the things a lot better. Meaning that we have definitely and we 100% have won the title. We're now nine points ahead There's no way in hell Norwich are gonna come back from this. There is no way in hell. We are champions Wow As you see there now nine points ahead two games left. It doesn't matter anymore We are champions of it of the of league of league the championship and we are through Okay, let's just have a look through the um uh, through the office. Returns from injury. Musta Carriol is back from injury. Vaughton did get injured. Press conference. 
Let's prize the boys. I mean, how, how can you not prize them enough? Lansbury, really proud. Because he wanted to play this game. Now, Cariol is back. He's back from injury, which is actually a bit of good news. So where is he? Where is Cariol? He is a little bit hurt, but I'm going to bring him onto the bench for this match. I'm going to... Do this. Yep, I agree with that. Okay, so now... Let's just sim through the other, the next few days to lead up to the game against Queen's Park Rangers, and then we'll sort out the side. Oh, I'm buzzing. Okay, it's coming through down here now. Okay, yep. Our second last game of the year against Queen's Park Rangers. What are we going to do? So I'm thinking... Carriol start, actually starts. Laika will come on for Dimitru. We'll put Cedric up for striker. We'll put Thomas in for Grant. And we're going to put Thomas up for a Cam. Uh, Cohen will play for, against for Osborne. And Triore will play for, uh, for Pinolos. And I think that is the team we will go for against Queen's Park Rangers. So anyways, just get into the game. Here we are, Loftus Road, Queens Park Rangers versus Nottingham Forest. This, these next two games for Nottingham Forest don't mean anything, but for Queens Park Rangers, this does. If they win this game, they can guarantee they'll be in the top six and go for the qualifying to get the third and final spot for the get off to the playoff. So Queens Park need to win this game, or a draw would actually help them as well. Carry on. Coming up a bit on the wing here. Shot for Cohen. Cohen goes wide. There was a. That's actually like our first real chance of the game. To Cedric. Cedric now. He's got a got a bit of competition here. He gets pulled down, and it is a penalty. I think it's a penalty on Anua. I think it's a penalty. He's getting booked. It's a penalty, isn't it? It is a penalty. Okay. We're going to give this one to Cedric because he did win it. Come on, put it away like he can. Yes, he can. He puts it away. And it is 1-0 to Nottingham Forest from a great penalty from Cedric. I did have a gut feeling he was going to miss it. But no, he puts it away. Completely sends the keepers to the shops. 1-0. This is something... Now, honestly, Queen's Park Rangers do not want because all they need is just a point to, to get to get in the qualification for the playoffs. But anyways, I don't care. Half time now. We are one nil up from a penalty from Cedric. Now, let's have a look here. But just for clarification, that Norwich are bottling it. Uh, Norwich are not playing. Yeah. Locker can put it away here. Rebound from Cedric. Hits the post. Oh my god, how unlucky was that? And I think... Oh no, he's hurt as well. Oh, you are kidding. Luckily, we've already secured the title. But if this did, if it didn't... Oh, wow. Let's have a look here. What happened is his arm... Oh, uh, uh, I don't know. It's controversial, but it almost... It, he could have scored, but then been injured. Nine minutes left. No, it's a chance here for Queen's Park Rangers. If they get a draw, it won't really affect us, but this will actually help them. It's coming fast in. Come on, get the ball off them. No! What a save by Stojkovic. It's a corner. The 85th minute. This is very much needed here from Queen's Park Rangers, and the header goes nowhere. Okay, be careful. Reading have got... Oh, Queen's Park Rangers have got a last-minute corner. Their keeper is up as well. And the shot... It goes wide, and the game ends 1-0 to Nottingham Forest. Queen's Park Rangers have to now secure getting into the top six against Norwich, but it's still a win to win for us, even though we almost bottled it in the last 10 minutes. But anyways, I'm not really in the caring mood. Our play player of the match goes to Cedric with an 8.5, who is probably injured for the rest of the year. But anyways, let's get into the build-up for the final game and the Guard of Honor. Okay, some good news here. Cedric only has a bruised elbow and will be only out for eight days. Bearing in mind, it's a two-week break from when we play our final game 
from the game against Queen's Park Rangers. So he will be in... Actually, no, he won't. <laughs> cancel, cancel, cancel that, cancel that. Okay, we've got some, um... A lot of notifications. Okay, so, um... They don't... Okay, Vorton's back from injury, so that's sick. Okay, monthly... Use squad monthly report. Okay. Anybody worth calling up? Owen Shaw? Yep, I'm going to offer contract to o Owen Shaw for a centre mid roll. He yeah, wants £400. He yeah, wants £525. He'll be a squad rotation player. The same squad as Owen, squad, same thing as Owen Thomas is on. So, yeah, but he will be coming up next season. Okay, monthly scouting update. Is there anybody good? Okay, um. Yeah, wouldn't mind signing him. And last one. None of them are really, like, jumping. Oh, okay. Dylan Bailey. He looks all right. 54 to 60. He looks... Oh. Let's find Sean... M Matt Jackson and Sean Daly. Where is he? Dylan Bailey. Okay, let's look at this. Okay, Matt Jackson's actually got a potential. He's, he's 63 rated. We, he could be caught up to the main score, but he can't because he's 15. But he's got a potential of 74 to 94, which is magnificent. What about Dylan Bailey? He's, a, he's only got that big of a potential, but who knows? He could, they could go past their potential. Who knows? Okay, Pest Conference coming into the final game of the year. Owen Shaw has accepted the contract, which is fantastic news. He's accepted the contract. Press conference for a final game of the year against Ipswich. Owen Shaw has accepted his contract to be caught up to the main squad. Now, who to play? Obviously, Cedric cannot play for obvious reasons because he's injured. Unfortunately, I thought he was going to make it, but unfortunately, nope, he's not. Okay, here we go. It's at home at Ipswich. We're going to have a home guard of honor. Cedric can play, but he is injured, so I don't want to risk it. So, um, can't call up Bentner. We're going to call up Shaw to the bench. Uh, Dimitri, I'm going to bring on for Carriol. You know what? Why not? We'll put Grant and Shaw at center mids and get them a starting role. Um... And um, besides that, yeah, that's it. That's really it. That's all the changes I'm going to be doing. So let's go in to the final game of the season against Ipswich Town. Here we are. Back at home for the final game of the year where we... Will 100% secure the title. Ipswich are currently in ninth place. Mid-table, not too bad. But unfortunately, they do miss out on the top six. And here we go. For the final time this season, both teams come out. The best defensive team by a massive mile. No, enough chit-chat. Let's close out for the final 90 minutes. It is a corner. Sure. Try to get off to Traore. Piraeus picked it up. Pirae with a strike! Oh my god. Shot after shot after shot. It just shows that we're not taking this game lightly. We're playing this like it's the, like it's a nil-nil. Brown still going. Cuts back. It's See the through ball. And it's put into the back of the net. By I believe Velios. Is it Velios? It is Velios. Of course. Who else could it have been? He's been, he's going, he's probably, if he started at the beginning of the year, he'd probably been massively contended for the championship golden boot. But, hey, 16 goals ain't too bad from starting in January. Just couldn't get there. And there goes the whistle for halftime. There's 45 minutes left of this season. 
And as you see from all the games being played here today, Norwich are winning, but who gives a shit? <laughs> no one really cares. I am going to make some subs though, however, because I'm worried about for Thomas. I'm going to take him off. I'm going to bring Lansbury on. I'm going to bring Pinulos on for Traore. And I'm also going to bring on Cohen for Grant, just to keep the game going. Luck is blasted through the defenders. Can he juke him out? No, he tried to get a free ball through, but it's going to be a corner anyways. Larker whips it in. Can be headed for Cohen! It's a brilliant header by Cohen! It is definitely going to be wrapped up here. A 2-0 on the hour. A brilliant header from Cohen. The man who won us the EFL Cup. And just, just a whole lot of brilliant. Chris Cohen gets 13 goals for the season. Velios. Velios with the chip. It is brilliant. Is there any way this guy cannot stop scoring? He just, he does them all. He does from long shots. He does from headers. And now he can do them from chips. Lyalowski almost got a fingertip to it. But nope, it still goes in. 17 goals in the championship for Velios. With 10 minutes to go left in the year. Lansbury now over the top for Velios. Can Velios get it? He still does. Velios now. He's just put it away. He gets a hat trick to close out the season. Just Velios. He honestly, he could be, he is definitely in contention for player of the year. But it depends on you lot if he is going to be that. 18 goals this year. Three of them today. You just can't stop him from scoring. Ref, blow the whistle. That is it. Nottingham Forest are champions. I mean, we did confirm it two matches ago, but now it's official. They are champions of the championship. They have done it. We have played so hard to go through injuries, through bearing in mind, like the first 10 games of the year, non eight of them were draws. And then we came back through some fantastic signings and fantastic players, even though we had a failed loan spell with the wanker that is Marcus Rashford. But we have done it. And here we go. We won the EFL Cup earlier in the year. And now the championship of still getting through to the Premier League. The title is there. The question is, uh, who's lifting it? I think it's going to be Mancien lifting the title. Here we go. Let's soak this in. This has been, hands down, the greatest season of career mode I have ever done. Very much, this is only season one. We still got another seat, another couple of seasons to go with them. So we're going to the Premier League, and who knows what might happen. It is fantastically amazing. You got to give credit to Norwich City. They did not give up until until they were never fully beaten. But it's just we were just too better on the day. The fireworks go off in the East Midlands. We are champions. And here we go. Let's get the official team photo. Oh, it's just absolutely brilliant. The entire sacrifice was worth it. But now it's to finally give my epilogue of the season. Like just before this, we got Owen Wilkins out for three weeks. We've just received three, four million pounds for winning the title. The Nottingham Forest Board, hi manager. Just wanted to thank you for helping our club reach one of its brand exposure goals that we set to accomplish this season. We want to make sure you have, we have good attendance numbers throughout the season and we couldn't have done it without you. These are the objectives we were meant to do. Brand exposure. Sell out at least 50% of our home matches. We completed that. Domestic League. 
reached the F, F reached the round of 32 of the FA Cup. We made the quarterfinals. Gain automatic promotion from the championship. We got first. Reduced player wages by £17,000 a week. We did that. Long term, but it says within two seasons. So we're not worried about that. And youth development I haven't done yet overall. But anyway, everybody's happy. I'm just so proud to be a part with this team. But now, let's actually have a look at the other competitions in England to see what else happened. Like, So it's obviously, we'd have to find out later about who's the third team that's gone through. So, championship goal scorer went to Vibe from Brentford with 19 goals. Velios was very close. Okay, let's look at the tables. Here we go. I think this is like the review of the... Uh, I think this is only competitions where we were in. So, the FA Cup came down to is Arsenal versus Sunderland. Okay. EFL Cup, we won that. The Championship Playoffs. Oh, Queen's Foot matches. Okay, so we might need to keep an eye on that a little bit more. But let's just actually just go through the times. It's just been absolutely fantastic. So, here we are. We are at the end of the season. And here we've got manager of the season. We've also got two players returning on loan. And I've just found out that Dimitri has left the club because he was actually a loan player, which is something I forgot to realise. Lavetti, the loan deal from... Iacovi's back and Jamie Ward is back. So hopefully you'll figure this out. I am proud of this team. I'm just gonna be checking now who's coming up with us for the EFL champ for the Okay. Arsenal won the FA Cup because that's the only thing they could win. The EFL Cup was won by us. And Newcastle have won the actual thing. Newcastle won. So it's us, Newcastle. And Norwich City going up to the Premier League this year. But anyway, that's it. Season 1 has ended. I just want to say thank you guys for sticking out for this entire thing. And remember, in the comments below, what I want you guys to do is put on transfers because when we enter this it's a new season and the transfer window will be open so put some transfers down in the description below of players you want me to bring in players you want me to take out any that you want and i'll try to make the best of those ideas and also don't forget for the straw polls and link for the football awards but i think there'll be an actual video on me actually doing the nominations where people can actually start voting for them but anyways Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in Season 2. Goodbye.